Hey guys, wanted to make a video on how to create a footprint chart in Quant Tower. Um, main reason being is Quant Tower is a good alternative to get into order flow for free, essentially. Um, normally, Quant Tower costs $70 per month, but um, if you check their website, there is a few ways that you can get it for free. Um, I have an AMP account. You can create an AMP account and um, sign up to use quant tower same thing with optimus futures and then these crypto um, trading platforms by bit binance binance futures and then finally top step so if you create an evaluation or an account with top step and you choose quant tower you will be able to trade with quant tower for free so it's kind of a nice um alternative and it's ui and everything is pretty good especially for how new it is so first thing we're going to do to create a footprint chart is we're going to come up here to chart and I am going to maximize this and first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to change a little bit of the styling I'm going to remove this um, watermark-esque um, NQ symbol here so I'm going to go here right click and go down to settings and in view we're going to want to scroll down and in this additional section uncheck show symbol description now you can see that remove that and then i also am going to remove this crosshair um, just because i think it's annoying to have a crosshair um, and then i'm going to x out of that and first thing we're going to do is we are going to right click and we're going to go to volume analysis and as you know with Sierra chart as well, the footprint isn't called footprint. I think there's some sort of copyright issues. So on Quant Tower, you're going to click cluster. So once we zoom in, we can see this is essentially their footprint. It is just called a cluster. And first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to go and connect to ES just so right now I don't think it's connected to something that will be moving um, but we have ES and I'm going to change it to a five minute here and click apply and so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click go here to volume analysis and then go down to settings and we're going to go here into cluster settings or the footprint and what I'm going to want to create is a footprint with two sides, the left side being the volume profile essentially, and the right side being the delta profile. So here in type, we're gonna change it from single to double so that there's two sides. The left side, we're here with volume, which is already set. And then here on the right side, we're going to change this to delta. And then down here, I don't like it like this where it's just the colors. I kind of like to be able to see the volume, see how thick it is. So we're going to change the visualization here to histogram. And I'm going to remove this point of control that you can see is yellow. Um, we're going to unclick show volume pro or show point of control. And right now they're coloring both the same, the delta and the um, volume and so to change that we're gonna go to coloring mode and change it to coloring by data this way the left side looks good and now the right side is the Delta and it's green and red um, I'm gonna just change the colors I like green and blue and so down here we are going to type in RGB and I'm going to do for the buy side we're going to do 0, 0, 160. So I just put RGB and 0, 0, 160. That's uh, going to give us this color. And then I'm going to click out of that, go into red, and go RGB 128, 0, 0. And then hit enter. That will give us maroon. And now that we have that done, that is essentially it. You can have it draw grid lines if you like. Um, if not, you can remove those. And then also something that I like to add is we will go to settings, volume analysis, and go to t 
time statistics. So time statistics, this will give us here at the bottom the delta, delta percent, sell volume, buy volume, volume, and trades. And we can go into the settings and mess around a little bit with those. So I personally just use volume and the buy volume and sell volume I'm going to ignore because I like to just have delta. And then also the delta percent I'm going to remove as we already have delta. And trades is essentially the same as volume. So we're going to remove that. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go and change the colors to what I have for the, um, the footprint. So for the blue, we'll do 0, 0, and 60. And then for the red, RGB, 128, 0, 0. All right, so now once we have that, um, we are pretty much done. So we have at the bottom, we have the volume of the delta. And then here on the chart, we have a footprint chart with volume on the left side and delta on the right side. And that's it.